Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Torn and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 and the Royal Court expansion. So before we get started in today's episode, I would like to announce that unfortunately we will have to change the schedule for this series. Uh, I was hoping I would be able to do the nine videos a week, which is the one full series of six videos a week, which is this one, and then one series that I put out videos every other day, three videos a week, which is the Heart to Round 4 one. You know, I've done it in the past. It's been a while. I haven't done it since, I don't know, it's been about a year since I've done that. It's a lot of extra work, uh, but it can be done. Uh, however, this is the first time I tried to do this, this schedule while I was doing the homeschooling. We just started the homeschooling in uh, the fall semester of last year, and it has been incredibly time consuming. So these last couple weeks since I started this series or week and a half or whatever it's been, you know, I've been giving up about an hour of sleep every night and uh, I haven't had any free time or anything like that. And you know, I thought I could do it, uh, but you know, I'm not I'm not as young as I used to be. Now, 35 is not very old, but you'll notice once you turn 30 that you do start feeling your age. That my my joints started hurting uh, when I, especially when it comes to lifting weights, because I lift uh, often. You know, I work out about four times per week, and uh, my joints hurt all the time now. Uh, you know, I do lift pretty heavy, so that's uh, part of the reason there. But but yeah, I never had joint problems in the past, but I can feel that now. Uh, and you know, I can't I can't do what I used to do before, like you know, sleep three, four hours a night, get up like it's nothing. It affects me a lot more. Uh, hangovers are, are way worse. So the lack of sleep and free time has certainly been affecting me over these last two weeks. And, uh, you know, I thought I would only have to do it for like a week or two. Uh, but the Heart to Rhyme 4 series is not ending anytime soon. With the three videos a week format, we could be going for another two weeks or so. So I've been wanting to try this format out for a while where I play, you know, two different games but have the same amount of videos, the six videos per week. And so we're going to try this out. Uh, well, these videos here for the CK3 series will be coming out on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. All well, the Heart to Iron 4 videos will be coming out on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday with no video on Monday as usual. It is unfortunate that we're doing it so early in this series. Typically I wouldn't do something like this until around at least episode 20 or so. Yeah, that's what we'll be doing from here on out. Uh, it's going to be three videos per week and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes uh, with the, the two different series going. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we're going to change up our wife's job here because we no longer have as many holdings because we gave one to our son and therefore it's okay if we lose a little bit of the stewardship that she was granting us. Now this will reduce our money by more, so I guess that's one negative. Uh, but I really want the, the 15 points of intrigue. That's ridiculous. Uh, so let's go in and get that. Yeah, you see our income drop just a little bit, uh, but now our intrigue will be higher. So now we're at 21. And that'll be helpful for uh, when we try and do these assassinations again. And so yeah, we'll just switch this up now, just so I get used to it. Now you see our money did tick back up. All right, so that that was down for a little while. I'm not entirely sure why. I thought it was modifiers from the the you know the negative debt events. I don't think that was the case. I looked at all our provinces, and we didn't have any that were actually affecting us money-wise in the the provinces that we directly manage. So I don't think that was it. We do have that money now to hire that knight. So let's go ahead and do that before he leaves us. This is him here with his 27 prowess. Uh, so we want to recruit him to court, and he's going to be 90 gold. Right, excellent. So now we have a fantastic knight for the crusade. And now we just need to earn enough money for that crusade. And uh, looks like the crusade is being successful so far. Yeah, I can't even see where their army is now. Uh, also, Casimir is, is of age, which is fantastic because I wanted him to... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, we got the Holy Warrior trait. Well, that's interesting, considering the fact we're about to go on a crusade. May I don't know that this has anything to do with the fact that he comes of age right during a crusade, but maybe. Maybe the game considers that. Uh, he has the skilled tactician, uh, the same level as us. And he's got the holy warrior trait, which will be useful in crusades. Uh, he's got an 18 of martial, so pretty good. Uh, prowess is just 11, not too shabby. So yeah, we'll take both of them on crusade with us. So they'll both be knights for us. And we'll see how they do. Right, so it's great that, you know, while we're not happy about having to spend all this time, you know, increasing our, our money, uh, you know, wait until we get a bit of a war chest. The one positive is that our son came of age in time. All right, so this is just another one of our hooks being lost. Uh, where is he at? Unfortunately, he's in Kiev. So that we're just losing all the hooks that we had here in Kiev. Um, 
which is, is a negative since we're going to want to operate there here in a couple years, two more years. Uh, but there's not really anything to be done about it. Uh, of course, we could bring him into court, but he's 59 years old, so we'll probably just let that expire. We are now looking for more secrets there. Now, as far as how much money we need, probably a good chunk of it. Uh, we do need to get over there soon, or the crusade's going to end. You know, I'm wondering, because I've had so many problems with money in this campaign, a lot more than I typically have. Usually money becomes quite plentiful in our campaigns, eventually. And we're going to blackmail him. And I I'm wondering... Oh, we weren't able to sway him, unfortunately. Well, we'll keep it going. But I'm wondering if it's because of our court. Uh, we are spending a little chunk of money on the court. Uh, 2.1. That adds up over a long time. Because so I'm wondering if, if maybe we should cut down the money we're spending on the court. Court Grandeur does have some fantastic bonuses and benefits. But yeah, it is something to consider. How much money we're spending on that. Uh, but also these wars are quite expensive as well. Uh, so we want to go into this C zone here. The way of the sword, the endless clash of metal on metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. It is a dance that is familiar as it is exhausting to heft my sword, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. So we say me and my trusted sword will not part. We'll get two plus prowess. Or we can say let's end the monotony and hand me another weapon. 70% chance we'll be successful, gain prestige, and martial lifestyle experience points. I mean, we really haven't been battling at all. 70% isn't bad, but we couldn't get wounded, which I definitely don't want to get wounded. It's 30% chance here. I ah, will just go with this one. We'll go with the safe bet here and uh, get the prowess up even higher. As far as how much money we need, well, it's, it's a matter of also can we get to the Holy Land in time. So let's raise up the army now because I don't think we're going to get there now. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and raise up the whole army and then we'll let this go a couple days and have another event with our horse. Renowned trainer has approached me after hearing rumors of my mighty mare, offers her services, and all she wants is compensation. Oh, Lord. Yeah, we're just going to say I'm not interested. <laughs> we don't have the money for this right now. All right, so we now need to split this army up. Probably not going to send a ton. The main point here is not really to help out as much as it is to just get uh credit for going there and getting the, the traits and all that kind of stuff if we can help out we'll get a little chunk of money but yeah it looks like the the crusade is gonna be over soon and that looks pretty solid let's go and take these guys and disband them that's gonna save us a ton of money that's, and then also save us money when we go out to sea uh let's go ahead and put ourselves in charge here so we'll get the crusader trait 35 gold to get out there court grandeur went right back up not sure why it went down and up again but and let's see if we can get the Holy Land in time. And looks like Lambert education is going to be better because our, our wife has helped out with that, which is good since he has that slow trait. Uh, and then we want to send them all the way over to here. Uh, the exact area that this is about is Jerusalem here. So yeah, you want to, to get over there. All right, so we'll head on over there. So we'll get there in eight months. Man, I don't know if we'll get there in time. Yeah, because then it's... Then you got to get onto the land as well. And yeah, the war could very well be over by then. Well, we'll, we'll see. I might have waited too long. That'd be unfortunate. Uh, so this is in regards to Daniel. Uh, he got the brave trait as well. So we can keep the brave trait. Or we can uh, go at calm or, or zealous. We'll keep the brave trait for him. So all of our sons are brave. Which is excellent news. Uh, just we'll keep on watching the war. I guess we can pop over here and see how this is going and We're not able to cover any other secrets there. All right, we're gonna keep it going Try again, so this crusade or excuse me this siege here will be done in 45 days and That'll tick it up some the war score and it looks like there'll be another battle here as well They do have a lot of troops over here it's at 76% now that the siege is done, and then there'll be a battle here, and that will probably be enough to tick it up. I don't think we'll get there in time, guys. We'll see. Yeah, I don't expect we're going to get there. And our wife is pregnant. What? Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. 45 years old, and she's pregnant again. 
we'll see what happens there. I've been surprised with the uh, number of children we've had with her. Uh, we married her, and I think she was in her 30s, right? Early 30s or late 20s. Uh, so we were able to sway him this time. Excellent. Uh, do we need to sway any further? I don't think so. Uh, there's not really anybody else here that we need to sway either. Uh, we're getting all the money from him. So we could just continue to sway other uh, other vassals. Maybe vassals who don't like us much. Yeah, like this duke here. Yeah, we'll sway him. Uh, only a 56% chance of success, though, so not very high there. So we'll see what happens there. So yeah, we're at 76%, guys. I don't know that we'll get there in time. I don't know where we're at right now. I guess we're leading, so we could just go this way. Here we are. So we're going to get there in uh, 48 days. Maybe. Uh, looks like one of our sons just learned high German. Uh, I think that was Daniel, which means we... Well... I wasn't teaching another language, but yeah, he has a, a limit of one of one here. That's interesting. Why does he have such a low limit? Everybody else has two. Maybe his learning being low? Yeah, I think it's his learning being low. Okay. So we'll see if it gets higher so that we can do that. Uh, Casimir just gained the diplomatic courtier. Excellent. Increasing his diplomacy as well as several other characters. All right, so yeah, it's just kind of a race to get over here so we can <laughs> say that we were there. We were involved. We helped. But yeah, I just want that crusader trait really bad. All right, so we're slowly getting over there. Look at the supplies. Uh, we can carry up to 300 because of that perk that we have. Uh, and, yeah, we're going to let him visit. And they are about to finish up two sieges. That will be enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and take these guys and put them over here. And just going there should get us there. And we can get there before the crusade's over. So that should give us the uh, crusader trait. Uh, hasn't popped up yet. Maybe because we're not in a a territory that's not occupied. Try going over here. My wife called right as we got the event. Gave us the uh, Crusader trait. Uh, we got the Crusader trait, which means all of our all, all of our knights got it as well. Uh, with the Crusader trait, although it looks like we didn't get that yet until we click here. So let's go and do that. And so that's what we're here for, guys. We got the Crusader. This is going to increase our Marshal by 2, our Prowess by 3. So now we're at a 40 Prowess. That's not bad. Uh, it's not the highest we've ever been, but it's certainly pretty good. Uh, and then we're going to get to increase opinion with anybody of our faith and increased clergy opinion. And that will be applied to our sons as well. Uh, though, I don't think that's actually been applied yet uh, because he was at 16 before. Uh, and he's at 11, so he's got to give it a second. Uh, so yeah, he'll be at 14, and he'll be at 19. And uh, they'll also have the increased marshal, too. All right, so we're here. Um, we'll try and participate while we're here. I don't know what we would do, though. I suppose we can try and do the siege here. Uh, this siege might end it, though. It's going to be done in eight days. And also, coming down here could result in us getting engaged by that 14,000 men. So maybe it would be better to go further away, actually. Uh, we could even go after one of these capital provinces here. But I don't think we'd get there in time. Probably just better to do this siege here. Go ahead and take over this. It's, it's real small, so I might be able to get it done before it's over. It looks like we won't, because we're already at 99%. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, they could even lose a battle, our side. Although it doesn't look like we will. Nope. Alright, so there's the big battle that will determine the end of this conflict here. And the... Uh, the end of the siege, or excuse me, the end of the, the crusade. Uh, we will not be able to finish our siege. Damn. Alright, well, we're going to have him do it again. I really want a secret there, but yeah, this will be the end here. That won't affect it at all. Uh, we're still at 99%. Okay, so the battle did not change that up. Alright, so we might be able to do the siege here. Yeah, we looking at three months, though. I'm not sure why that meter went up so quick. Uh, we did get a Marshall perk, which we got quicker because of that one event. Uh, let's go and go with a man's home. Control territory defender advantage plus five. Oh, man, I did not mean to do that. We were doing this one. I wasn't even thinking. 
I just went straight over to this one. Uh, well, anyways, that's still helpful. It'll give us a plus five advantage. Uh, but yeah, we wanted to go with one of these ones here. Oh, well. We got that one now. I don't even know if we would have been able to finish that perk tree in time anyways. Uh, so we do actually have another enemy that just joined the war. Doesn't affect the war score, but might bring more troops in. All right, so now the meter is back to normal. And man, Holy Suave can't have nothing but boys. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is another boy. And we have to disinherit all of them. There's no way. Uh, we're not going to be able to disinherit all of them uh, in time. Uh, we won't have enough uh, renown. So we're definitely going to lose some titles now, guys. Uh, there's just no way to avoid it unless he lives a really long time. Uh, maybe if we live into our you know, 70s, perhaps, maybe we could get enough renown to to disinherit all the, the sons we'll have to. But I don't think so, guys. Uh, that's a lot of sons. That's four sons. Uh, I don't think we'll have enough renown for it. So uh, we can try and give him to church, but we've already had issues with that. Uh, we were planning for that and with Lambert and, and so far have not been able to do that. Uh, he is stubborn, impatient, and cynical. Yeah, he is not going to <laughs> accept this. We'll see once he gets the education trait, uh, which we'll have in a couple of years here. Uh, but yeah, it's it's unfortunately uh, we are gonna lose titles. I think uh, when when our character dies it is what it is. Uh, we have not named any of our sons uh, after ourselves, Holy Swabs. So that's what we'll name our youngest, uh, or what I hope to be our youngest. I guess we'll find out. All right, so we'll do the siege here. That's again not gonna get us much participation. So I don't think we'll get a lot of money. Uh, oh, oh no, he's sickly. Of course, the one we name after ourselves would be sick, sickly. All right, so that's unfortunate. We did finish up the siege. That gets it up to 100%. So that was our role. That's how we'll say we helped out here. Uh, we are lacking on supplies, so we'll go ahead and get some supplies here, and the siege is done. Or excuse me, the, the crusade is done. I keep saying the siege. All right, excellent. So we'll just take a look here. Oh, wow. Well, that's interesting. Despite the fact that we barely helped at all, our sister is the one who was the first rank. And so, I mean, because this isn't just based on how much you help, as we've seen in uh, past campaigns. Now, it says that we have 20% of the score. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how we got that. We got 742 gold from this, so very profitable. 567 piety. And uh, 2,180 of the prestige yeah I can't explain how we got so many points from doing one siege uh, but yeah this isn't solely based off of uh, you know your participation uh, we've had many crusades and in, in past campaigns where we were the, easily the, the top participant and yet our uh, beneficiary wasn't the one selected it's also based on a variety of other uh, things as well if I'm if I understand how it works in the code correctly uh, so yeah, our uh, sister is now the Queen of Jerusalem. And that will result in our dynasty here. Or no, no. He is not our dynasty. So our dynasty will not keep this throne, unfortunately. Alright, yeah, that'll be the Bohemian dynasty. But still. That's helpful. Uh, it'll help us get uh, more renown as well. Uh, so, we got a lot of money from it. Had the Victorious Crusade here. She's still in prison. I think she's locked up. Well, she was locked up by her husband. I'm not sure who has her locked up now. Okay, so that was her brother-in-law uh, that currently has her locked up. He's the spy master in the Emperor's court. All right, uh, so we'll see if he ever lets her out. Uh, she should, I mean, she already has the money to pay to get out. He just refuses to let her out, apparently. All right, so with the establishment of a proper Catholic queen in Jerusalem, the faithful can finally rest easy, knowing that St. George is smiling upon our good works. The fact that the new ruler of Jerusalem belongs to my dynasty is only further proof of our divine favor. Uh, so we can play as her if we wanted to because she was our beneficiary, which we're not going to do that. Uh, so yeah, we were rewarded for our meager contribution. <laughs> but we'll take it. And... Uh, that does mean that we have a bunch of money to spend. Uh, prestige is now almost to the point where we could get most of the uh, different traditions here. So if we wanted to reform and add a tradition. Now there are some of these here that give 2,000. So you can get them for kind of cheap. 
the astute diplomats. Uh, you can't attack allies, can't attack through truce. Uh, it's easier to negotiate alliances. Uh, white peace acceptance is easier to get, and you can learn one additional language. And you also learn the languages quicker. That's a nice cheap one. There's a couple other cheaper ones as well. You wouldn't be able to get that one though. Don't fill all the requirements. But most of them are at least 5,000. I guess there's some 4,000 ones as well. So we'll have to take a look at this and see which one we might want to get. With a prestige, we want to do that before we die. Uh, I think we'll wait till we get the 5,000. Maybe I'll take a look at this in between episodes, see which one we might want to get there. Uh, we do have somebody new. This is a master. Uh, we also have this character as well. Uh, so he wants to make... Uh, so he has a metalsmith inspiration. And she wants to go on an adventure to northern Africa. Well, I mean, they'd both only be 50. Or no, no, it'd be 72. Okay, so probably because she's a master. Maybe. So yeah, we could pay for these, I suppose. Why not? These could be pretty good. So we'll go ahead and pay for both of them. Yeah, they could be pretty good. And I don't know that I've done the adventure one before. Maybe. I might have done one. I don't recall. Uh, we do have a court event available. Uh, we can also found a holy order. Go ahead and take a look at all these. Uh, so this is one about murder holes and priest holes. A pallid individual who looks as if she has spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in the corner of my throne room. I've heard tell you might want a secret passage installed. I can craft any impure corridor your twisted heart desires. So we can say I shall enter and leave rooms only by the front door wench. Give us some prestige. But we'll spend some court ranger. We can instead say a series of spine holes where my courtiers gather, please. And it'll cost 105 gold. Yeah, I don't think we'll do that one. The 10 court grandeur would be nice and everything, but yeah, I don't want to spend the money for that. You know, we got so much money and I want to use it for other things. Like I can say I'm a simple man. Seems like we just got a bunch of money and then everybody wants it now. Uh, we had all those uh, specialists come in. We've got her. Everybody like senses it. It's like blood in the water. We just got sharks coming after us here. Uh, but this is a hidden escape passage. Uh, decreasing hostile schemes at sex chance. Yeah, I mean that's helpful. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna do that either. Or we can do a concealed torture room where I can get away with more. Uh, we would lose stress doing this, gain dread, get court grandeur, cost money, and we'd become sadistic. Yeah, I just don't think that fits our character, what we're doing here. Frankly, I just don't want to spend the money on it. Uh, we'll just have to lose some court grandeur uh, and, and get the prestige. Because, yeah, there's so many other things I would rather do right now. Uh, like maybe found a holy order. 500 gold here. Uh, so this would result in us becoming the order's patron. Uh, we'd get some piety from it. Increase the opinion with the Pope. And then we could change where the headquarters going to be at. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we're going to do this. But yeah, we could. Grant them a city or a barony. But yeah, we're not going to do that right now, guys. There's just so many other things that we need to spend money on. Uh, so as far as everything in here, uh, we won't commission an artifact right now because we already have two events going with that. Don't really need to work off any stress right now, yeah. Uh, I mean, we could just to, to get the uh, uh, the timer going again. You know, we lose some opinion, but yeah, we'll go ahead and do that, I suppose. Reduce the stress a little bit, and uh, then we'll be able to get, do it again at 1100. And see how long it'll take before we can assassinate him. I want to say it was in January 1097. Yeah, so let's try this again. Uh, you know, see that we have a, a real low chance of success here, but that's without any agents. I've been trying on this for a while, so we're definitely going to... Uh, invest in this and, and you know I know that some people will be asking me like you know we did this this war here uh, where we did two separate conflicts to keep him on the throne we've invested pretty heavily on trying to assassinate all of his children you know we've killed two of them so far and now we need to kill a third one and so I've had several people ask me about you know why are we investing so much in this and particularly because we don't actually have to uh, once our mother died we had the ability to declare war on the kingdom uh, for the kingdom of Ruthenia. Now, we would have to cancel the marriage uh, for his daughter here uh, because we have an alliance right now. Uh, so you'd have to cancel that in order to declare war on him, uh, which, you know, if you're going to take the kingdom, then might as well cancel that. 
Yeah, we've uh, had to invest so much in the assassinations, and then we had to do those those two wars. So I've had several people ask me why are we uh, continuing trying to get this this location here uh, through the through the inheritance. Well, there's two reasons. Uh, first of all, we have invested so much in it. So if we hadn't helped out in those wars and he would have got overthrown, then everything we invested in it was for nothing. All the money, the time spent was for nothing. That's one reason is just because we've already invested so much into it. Now, I've had several people will say, well, wouldn't it have just been easier to attack them and conquer them from the beginning? Well, first of all, we didn't have the, the claim until our mother died, which was not that long ago. That was a few years ago. Uh, but yeah, at that point, we could have attacked and took over the whole kingdom. I didn't know that this was going to be so difficult. You know, we had one person to kill here uh, when we first started this. We had an older daughter that was set to inherit, and that's her right here. And, uh, you know, we couldn't do the, the marriage with her because they wanted a matrilineal marriage. So all we had to do was kill one little girl, and then we're, we were set to inherit. Uh, but obviously, it didn't go down that way. They had another son. Or they had a son, we killed him, then they had another son, uh, then we had the two wars we had to help out in. So, I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. Uh, obviously, when you look at all that, you say, oh, well, this was definitely not worth it. Uh, but I didn't know that was going to be the case when we started on this plan. Uh, so I'm just kind of sticking with the plan because uh, we invested so heavily in it. And then the second reason is because it's actually a lot better to peacefully inherit territory than it is to conquer it. Uh, there's plenty of bonuses for peacefully inheriting over uh, when you conquer territory, like, for instance, just control. Uh, the control in the region will be much lower uh, if you, uh, you know, conquer it through war rather than inherit it peacefully. So there are a lot of benefits to doing that. It's it's honestly optimal to, to peacefully inherit. It's, it's the better way to do it. So we're going to keep on going with it, guys, um, just because we've invested so much into it. And we're going to try and make this happen. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just see if we can get it done. Uh, so let's go ahead and invite some people to it. Uh, now, I know we've collected secrets, but the, we have the same problem we had last time, guys. He is not in the court that we've been working on. Damn. All right, so we have to change it over to here now. How much time do we have? 18 months. Okay. Uh, the problem here is the secrecy is really low, so we should probably bribe at least one guy. And it's only 58 gold, too. See how much that gets it up, and we'll take a look at it again. Uh, yeah, we'll try and do the secrets here. Maybe just one round of secrets, if we can get that done before this here progresses. Uh, we don't want to do that. Uh, we need to build. So let's go ahead and build in our capital. Uh, we're going to finally get the, the duchy building. So there's quite a few choices here. Uh, we might not get this built by the time our, our king dies. We'll have to see. He'll be 60, year, 60 years old at that point. I kind of feel like we got to go with the jousting grounds, because we're Poland. So we want to have really good cav units. And so I almost want to go with this. Uh, and also it would reduce the cost of men in arms. So that saves us a lot of money. Uh, increases our light cav. Uh, their damage, toughness, pursuit, and screen. Which the light cav that we're currently using have very high uh, pursuits. So that 10% would increase it by a lot. So yeah, I almost want to go with the, the jousting grounds. Could also make an argument to go with the blacksmiths for the... Heavy infantry and spear bonuses. It also gives you the men in arms maintenance, but I just feel like it's Poland. I want to have really good cav units. Uh, there's tax offices just for money. Uh, all these are, are pretty good, honestly. Yeah, if you want money, there's a lot of options in that regard. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we're going to go with the jousting grounds, guys. This gets us money and better units uh, because it's reducing the, the men in arms maintenance. So I think this, this fits for us. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the jousting grounds, and that's how it will improve as we get it. Uh, so, that'll take five years to get constructed, so we'll not benefit us anytime soon. That also means we won't be able to improve any of these until that's done. Uh, so that's going to take quite some time. So I think we're going to build up the men-at-arms. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. Uh, we actually got some archers. I think we inherited these, and these are a unique archer unit as well. Okay, well that's interesting. All right, so yeah, we got some archers. Uh, I didn't know we even had those. Let's go ahead and increase the cap. That's what we need to do. We did just invest in this, so having a higher cap would be good. Uh, get more of them. So we're going to get them up to get them up to five, probably. I think. There we go. And so that's our money. The rest of it will be used for uh, this assassination attempt over here. 
All right, so let's take a look, see where we're at now. 62% and 77%, that's not bad. Uh, it's at 14 months. I'm not entirely sure when we're gonna get, where is he at? He's over here. I'm not entirely sure when we'll get this done. Uh, so, and now it's at 16 months. So we should be able to get one secret, hopefully. Uh, and also, our sister, the Queen of Jerusalem, has been released from prison. But she's ill, melancholic, so yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see how long she sticks around here, but eventually, uh, Bohemia will inherit, and he's set to inherit both the Kingdom of Bohemia and Jerusalem. So really, it looks like by giving this to our sister, all we did was kind of strengthen one of our main rivals here, Bohemia. Uh, inspiration funded. The time has come for me to depart upon my adventure, my king. Uh, she bows to us while weighted down by heavy bags. Before I leave, please tell me, is there anything specific you want me to keep an eye peeled for during my journey? So you can say, I want to possess something truly unique. You could say, it doesn't tell us like what this would get us. Uh, I could say, bring me something from an exotic animal, a skull, or a hide. I want a trinket made from material you cannot find here. A tapestry or artwork that makes me wish I was there. Or I trust your instincts to bring me something great. Yeah, let's say I want to possess something truly unique. Yeah, I don't know what all those options would bring to us. All right, so yeah. 13 months now to get that done, so definitely gonna get this secret, I think, in time. I just hope it doesn't get revealed. So we've seen this event before. This is Count Yaxa, who is over here. And I think we will go with the martial lifestyle points this time. I know we're raffle, so we don't wanna do this, uh, but we, we've got room here in our stress. And I want the 100 martial lifestyle points, especially because I got the wrong perk last time. Uh, our advice was accepted this time. I think last time, whoever it was that the event was regarding was uh, turned down. All right, so it sucks that I don't know where to build now because like we're in such a bad position with our all of our children. Uh, you know, we, we won't be able to inherit them all. That's gonna be in, uh, disinherit them all, excuse me. We might be able to disinherit inherit one character and maybe I can give one to the church. That still leaves enough to take all the duchies from us. Which means all our son gets is the county he already has and the capital. That is it. Which will leave us incredibly weak. Yeah, very, very weak, guys. So, um, it could be a rough situation uh, when our son inherits. But yeah, the uh, situation with Lambert not going, that was a big problem. Uh, now we got to try and hope that we just live a really, really long time. Uh, we're, we're pretty healthy, so maybe. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, Casimir is of age, of course. He's 18. Would like to give him a title, but uh, I'm not sure what we'd give him. I'd have to give him something he's already set to inherit, which would be uh, that duchy up here in all these counties in the duchy. So you could give him one duchy. Uh, we kind of need the money, though. And I don't know that we're going to be playing as Casimir. I guess what is your guys' opinion on who we should play as? Uh, they both got level 3 education, but different educations. Um, Mieszko is uh, temperate, brave, and raffle. Well, his brother is uh, brave and wrathful, so the same as him, but ambitious instead of temperate. Uh, and then he has he's a military education. They both already have the plus one diplomacy. He's a holy warrior, so that's useful. They're both crusaders. He's athletic. He's been wounded. Seems like he's been wounded for a while now. He's got the fornicator trait here. He's already got the aspiring blade master, so that's nice. Uh, you see his, his prowess is higher just as far as their skills. Casimir is slightly better in diplomacy. Uh, he's a lot better with Marshall, as you'd expect with the education, while he's much, much better with stewardship, which really help us with our money issues. Uh, as far as the entry goes, they both suck, uh, but Casimir is slightly better. Uh, learning, they're exactly the same, while it's actually Mieszko is better with the, the prowess. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's interesting. They're, they're very close, so it's an interesting choice. He's a lot older. Um, he would be the one to inherit over here, though, Ruthenia. Oh, she is already pregnant. They wasted no time at all. Uh, so yeah, she's pregnant now, so we'll see. He might already have an heir. Uh, Casimir is not that far behind, though, because, uh, his betrothed is not as old, though. She is sick. Oh, interesting. Hmm. How about the other daughter? Yeah, we might want to break off. Oh, but then it, you'd have to kill her. Hmm. 
I guess we'll see what happens there, guys. It doesn't necessarily mean she'll die, but she is ailing. Yeah, we'll have to see what happens there. Casimir's got a more glorious beard. He's got a funny looking beard. <laughs> All right, so it's uh, uh, it's an interesting choice. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. Uh, so this is the other inspiration we're paying for. Not sure how to pronounce this this Count's name. Count Pavwe? Correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, but my efforts to impress him have fallen fat, flat. My friendship with Count Pavwe is still standing on shaky ground. It's a mess. However, I got a brilliant idea. I ha have my beneficiary, Henry, add a dedication to the masterpiece he's making. It would be good, I suppose, to get him as a friend, particularly because he's our, our spy master, I suppose. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll do it. So we'll have a, a spy master who loves us and won't operate against us. I don't think he would have operated against us anyway because he was terrified of us. Uh, we we're able to improve his opinion. He is not gonna like us no matter what. Uh, he wants to pay homage, we'll, we'll let him. But yeah, he's not gonna like us no matter what, simply because he's a, a powerful noble who doesn't have a position in our court. Uh, this is her adventure, Majestic Lions in the Drylands, because uh, she's going to Africa. My lord, a message from your adventurer, uh, Grubana, uh, the servant says, handed me a scroll. My search has led me to the drylands of Tadla. They are notoriously lion infested, but I have good reason to think that my goal is near. Expect my return soon. Signed, Grubana. The scroll reads, she surely is ambitious to choose such a risky path. So we can say that her knowledge should be enough to keep her safe. And it's a 53% chance that she'll gain some progress. 46% chance she'll get wounded. Say by God, I hope she doesn't have to fight one. 57% chance that it'll just gain one progress rather than two. And it might be of slightly higher quality. Okay, so that's probably better. I'd rather have it be a better quality than uh, to happen quicker. Or 43% chance that she'll be wounded and 25% chance she's maimed by a lion. All right, uh, or we say that she's cautious, they'll take the long road round, and it'll lose progress. Um... Let's go with this one. We'll see what happens. And she's overcome by a charging wild lion. She gained the trait wounded and is maimed by the lion. Wow. So it looks like she uh, got severely injured and lost an eye. Okay. <laughs> so didn't go well there. Okay. And he's requesting more funds. We give him more. Then uh, it's going to be of a higher quality. And because we're generous, we'll lose stress. Yeah. So we'll have to do that. It's unfortunate. I was going to use that money for something else. He was not able to find any secrets there. So let's take a look here. Oops. We got 10 months. It'd probably be safest to just go ahead and uh, switch him over. Yeah, I think we're just going to switch him over. He's not going to get this, this done in time. I mean, he might. But we don't know that we're going to find a secret. And uh, we do have to, to worry about the risk of it being... Uh, discovered again so let's just play it safe here get the secrecy up uh, we're at 77 percent chance of success we'll try and get another agent if we can get enough money to do so uh we're kind of broke right now though so let's see what we can do there try and do it before the seven months here uh daniel is injured look at this big old scar he's got little 11 year old daniel uh, but yeah, we've seen this event. This is the raffle, so he's like exactly the same as his father and his brothers. If we let him keep this, they're all brave and wrathful. We can instead have him be forgiving or fickle. Well, we want to give him to the court, and that would be the best way to go. Because uh, we already have him here. Of the you know, he's our our knight here, and he's he's already a crusader and all that. So, I mean, we already have, like, a good knight brother. Uh, regardless of which one of these we choose, both of them will be good knights for their brother. While uh, Prince Daniel here could do something different. Maybe we could try and get him to the to the church. It's unlikely, since he doesn't have the, uh, uh, the scholarly, the learning education, which you can't change it, by the way. It can only be changed once. We've already done that. Uh, so we won't be able to, to change him over to the, the learning one. But if we gave him forgiving, then that might make it more likely that he'll go with the church. I'm not entirely sure. 
Let's try it out. Let's make him forgiving instead of wrathful like all his brothers. But yeah, I would think that would make him more likely to go with the church. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see. Uh, I dream of the deserts. So her journey to Africa is underway. She's joined a camel train traversing the width of the land. I send to you a piece of jewelry from one of my fellow travelers granted me. A most delicate necklace covered in ostrich shell beads. I suppose you haven't seen an ostrich. So we can say, a fine, fine, I will wear it myself, and it will become an artifact. Or you say, I shall give it to the queen. Yeah, we'll wear it ourselves. <laughs> so that'll give us an artifact there. Uh, I'm guessing that would be in our inventory, right? Yeah, here's our necklace. It increases our attraction opinion. Oh, okay. Whatever, we'll put it on, I suppose. We don't really want the attraction opinion up. I guess we could gift it to somebody as well, or gift it to our, our son. You know what? Let's gift it to our son so that he'll be more likely to have children. So this has come from our cousin over here. There's a fugitive he wants possession of. Okay, I'm not entirely sure he got in our court. He's a guest. Okay, I see. Uh, yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't give him up. And uh, we'd also get some money from that too. So yeah, we'll definitely give him up. Now, this mission here, I was going to wait for it. I'm probably going to have to do that next episode. Could increase the chance of success here by hiring one guy. 55 gold, so we will. We'll get that acceptance. And then we'll be ending the episode. Uh, we've seen this event here. Do we not have the diligent training anymore? Probably not. Yeah, we lost it. Okay. It expired. I think we're just going to go with the stress reduction this time. Yeah, just reduce that stress a bit more. So just waiting for him to join. And we do have a challenge from our son, Casimir. Interesting. I'm sparring with one of my soldiers, sweat beating on my forehead when I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched. Looked over my shoulder, I spot my son, Casimir, who waves at me. I walk over to greet him. We talk about our weapon practice for a while, trading tricks and advice. Just as I'm about to leave for another round, Casimir's face lights up and he suggests we practice together. Yeah, challenge accepted. And this will be a 97% chance that uh, we'll gain some martial lifestyle experience points and we'll get the prowess from the practice duel. 2% chance that he will get the martial lifestyle experience. But yeah, we're definitely gonna do this, we're brave and uh, we don't wanna lose stress and, and why wouldn't we do a little practice duel with our son? Uh, the upper hand. The sounds of spear, a spear clashing against hammer echoes between the courtyard walls. All eyes are on us. Everyone wants to see their king fighting his son. The crowd applauds as I lunge, and their admiration makes me bold. Instead of pulling back, I attempt a new technique I have been practicing. The movements flow through me and into my spear as if I, as if we were one. Casimir is defenseless before me. It's not surprising we're going to do well here. He's got like a fraction of the prowess that we do. He's got 14. We're at 38. Uh, so we can say, let's end it here, well fought. We'll gain prestige and opinion with our son. And we got already got the, the 100 martial lifestyle points in the practice duel modifier. Or we can say, I'll show him not to challenge me again, and we'll wound him. We wouldn't do that to our son. So yeah, we got ourselves a little extra prestige there. And uh, we're five months from having this done. We're at 95% chance of success and secrecy. Uh, so looking pretty good there. Hopefully we'll get it done. And uh, once he's been taken out, that will result in our son's wife inheriting the entire kingdom of Ruthenia peacefully. And I highly doubt they're going to have another son, you would think, with them both in their 50s at this point. But of course, the wife could die first, and then he could get a young wife, and yeah, could go against us still. And he can also face rebellions too. That's a, a possibility as well. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with the assassination next episode, uh, which remember, because we're going to this new schedule, uh, the next episode will not be until Tuesday. The videos will be out on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, which was rather eventful. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.